am so grateful i am thankful to all your love and your support and your prayers may the lord continue to bless you i also want to use this opportunity to thank my beautiful wife you know for for the great beautiful things she has done she she's just an angel she's a godsend i couldn't believe it myself when i uh, went to the hospital to see doctor and doctor said that the only option was a kidney transplant at that moment i asked the doctor i said does the hospital provide opportunity for donors he said no he said you have to bring your own donor it has to be your brother your sister your son your daughter but they have to be 18 above your wife your father your mother anybody and 18 above and at most 60. you know i was like oh really then immediately my wife was like can i be a donor to him and my and the doctor was like yes you can if you are both compatible so my wife asked again and said how do i know that well, she's compatible with me he said you have to carry out a couple of tests she said can i start the test right now i was shocked so for almost one month or about two months we're doing compatible test compatibility test you know and all the test was just perfect all was just perfect the last test now i remember i was in the dialysis room when dr bamboy came and said that we saw something in your donors you know abdomen and um i hope it is not what we think if it is what we think we will have to admit her then you will have to look for another donor oh my oh, chris <laughs> what well, i want chris i was like what the hell is this god but i was not scared i knew that god it was just temptation i was very strong in faith so now asked us to go and do a test to go and repeat the test send us somewhere then got the test you know dr wang went and took it to another professor to analyze the test so the professor was like no that it's not cancerous at all that sometimes some some growth happens you know in that particular area so that in, in the part of the body they saw that there's no problem that it can carry on with the transplant so around 3 a.m that day after we got our result we sent it to dr bamboo and it was like oh congratulations we are ready to go i was like oh god and thank you my wife was so very happy so three days later you know the surgeons came in from india you know some of them from other countries you know so they called me and my wife the next day so we can check in to the hospital so we went and checked into the hospital and very early at around eight o'clock i came to take my wife to the theater you know to get one of our kidney two hours later they came to pick me all i could remember is i went into the theater lay down on the bed and i couldn't remember anything anymore I couldn't just remember anything and five hours later it was the pain that woke me up mm. and I was very tasty so tasty so 
My wife was in the ICU in the other room. I was with the kidney, some of the kidney transplant patients too. I was not the only one. So I was so tested. The pain was crazy. So I was asking some of the nurses that, please, I need water. I want to drink water. I said, no, you cannot drink water. Before you can drink water, it will be tomorrow. I checked the time. It was 8 p.m. <laughs> Wow, long hours. It was 8 p.m. So I started thanking God, started praying. I know that God loves me so much. I also know that God has plans for me. That's why he gave me this second chance. What if my wife wasn't compatible? Even if she was willing. Even if she was willing. I would have still been in the dialysis room, getting dialysis, looking for donor. So I just think God loves me so much. And he sees my heart. He knows the kind of person that I am. So I am grateful to God. I am grateful to my wife. I am grateful to all my lovers and supporters. I appreciate them all. How did you choose her? How did you know? How did you meet? That's that's a very deep question, you know. While I was in Kano, 